that you're you know, the number one piston about this stuff. Okay? And everything lines up over there. Oh, your compression is up here in the front end. There's nothing in the back, too. It ain't nothing in the back at all? It's at uh, three. Cylinder one, we got 12 PSI. Cylinder three, we got 10. Uh, five and seven, we got zero and three. What? Sounds like somebody got depression issues. So when you did the combustion test, you never did one on the other side of the motor? Mm -mm. You just started because this was cylinder one? Yeah, I started on cylinder one. And that one red, right? Mm -hmm. Two was off by one. No, they're they're all off. One is at 12. Oh, one, oh yeah, one was at 12, one was at 10. Three is at 10. Five is no combustion at all. Five, no combustion. Mm -hmm. Seven got the dark spark plug. Yep. The other ones was dark too or no? Or no, no. Okay. First off, the race. Maybe it'll let me get in there this way. Hmm. Brenda used to have any question in life. Hey, in your own opinion, you um, you think this side over here, like right though, the left side? I'm hoping so, but I, I'm still gonna test them all the way around. Mm -hmm. right. You said the motor in your truck the same as the one in my truck? Mm -hmm. Without all them covers and shit on there, it's like a whole nother motor. Yo, alternate on the other side. Yeah. Compression is up here in the front end. There's nothing in the back too. It ain't nothing in the back at all. It's at uh, three. Oh, okay. Oh, so the numbers you was reading was you was reading that gauge right there. Yeah. See, so oh, okay. she was reading these numbers here. That's RPMs. This is mm -hmm. your PSI. You said one eleven where it's supposed to be at, right? No, it's supposed to be at uh, nine right here. Okay, nine. On this chart right here. On the, the smaller numbers, it's supposed to be at nine, nine point nine, nine point five, and it's down here at three. The last cylinder on this side, uh, mm -hmm. seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Okay. So our problem more than like it's because all the all your compressions up here on the front too. So you feel like air escaping in somewhere in the last two cylinders? Is it's that what that means? It's not building pressure. Mm. Or it has to be retuned to compensate. Mm. Would you have to take the other spark plug out? Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it dirty? No, it's right there. Right, right. Uh -oh. Hey, what's up? Got a question for you. Hey, I got an answer for you. Cylinder one, we got 12 PSI. Cylinder three, we got 10. Uh, five and seven, we got zero and three. What? Sounds like somebody got compression issues. Yes, at, yeah, we, do, we did the compression test. Okay. This is where it sparks. So, mm -hmm. that's where it before you even rip the heads off, right? Especially on the, on, the, on the ones that have zero, right? Check check your valve springs and make sure they're not broken. Right? Check your valves, make sure they're not broken. Hold on, okay. just listen, listen to me oh. for a second there, Pop. Okay. The work the work that we done on this was on the side where, where it's two, four, six, and eight. That was we did the the passenger side cylinders. Okay. So now we're trying to figure out why there's no compression on the driver side. Okay, so now, like I'm saying, before you pull the head off, check your valve springs, uh, your valve retainers, and your valves on those cylinders to make sure that they're good and they're sealing properly. If you do that, once you do that, if they're sealing properly, then you're going to have to pull the head off to see if, you know, the piston has damage, because it, it, could, it could be a... Um, it could be a head gasket, could be a valve that's not sealing, it could be there's a hole in the piston, it could be compression rings on the pistons themselves. So the easiest thing to start with would be the valves. He told me, he said it don't even matter that the work was on this side, he said check, mm -hmm. check them on this side anyway. Because mm -hmm. the only thing we did on this side we took the valve, we did, we took the valve, we took the uh, the rockers and the valves off. Oh to yeah, do, to get the cam. To get the cam out. Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, so like, if you're not getting compression on the cylinders, then, you know, like I said, either the valves aren't closing, they're remaining open for whatever reason, Okay, which is cause you not to get compression. The, the, um, the head gasket's blown. Uh, there's a hole in the piston. Or the compression rings are shot. He said the what might be shot? Uh, compression rings. Okay. Around the piston. It's possible that the head gasket could be bad. Oh, well, you said that the torque specs was wrong anyway from the jump mm -hmm. you said you looked them up and it was different no, we so what might have got do nothing on this side everything we did was torqued on that side oh that's right it would be blown on this side mm -hmm. you're right yeah I mean, oh never, so it's pretty never, much straight then we yeah. never took the head gas the head off of this side you're right i'm thinking it was one for the whole you got a v block All right, well, we're about to start fun. We're about to start tearing it down again. Yeah. Um, like I said, before you tear it all apart, check, check the uh, check the valves and make sure that they're closed. I know. I got to take it apart. I got to take the the valve cover off. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. See. He he knows what the um um means. <laughs> is that a, um overhead? Is that an overhead cam? Yes. Okay, so yeah, um, when you pull that off, you should be able to, you know, check everything up top that you can. And if, you know, if everything up top is good, your your it's either going to be the head gasket, um, the piston, or the piston ring. All righty.
you know, another good way that you might want to check the uh, valves is um, pull the head cover gasket off. Just connect. You can't just connect the battery. But um, you want you want to turn it over, or you can turn it over by hand. Just just disconnect the battery and turn it over by hand, and make sure all all the valves, the rockets are hitting the valves properly and opening and closing. Mm -hmm. You can always do that as well. Yeah. And that and, and that is all, that is that that also answers your question of whether or not it's the valves. Once you figure out that it's not the valves, and once you want to pull the engine out and pull the pistons out, then replace the head gasket, throw it back together, and uh, go from there. The piston is where the two rockers are sent at. Oh, piston, piston is what comes up and down. It's okay, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Lower. And you say you will see if it's got a hole in it. Mm -hmm. At the top of it, it's got like a little hole or anything in it. Mm -hmm. It'll it'll won't build the pressure it's supposed to build. Yeah, it was just a tick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking. Like it was just a tick. That's what I'm like. What the hell? I learned all type of shit, but this was a tick. It ran fine. You just wanted to get rid of the tick, and you 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 start you opened up a nightmare. Man, bro, this is crazy. I ain't even registered the truck in my name yet. This, I didn't had it for like Denver two months. Damn. I don't want to hear it. You've done the same thing. We've had truck. We had vehicles in the driveway that you ain't registered for six to eight months because you was working on it. Hmm. It's not like, I had vehicles in the driveway longer than that that I ain't registered. Yeah. Hmm. I got vehicles that I've never registered. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. I'm tired of working on it. Sell that bitch. Damn. You just put all this time into it. Sell it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Damn. What you think in step one, though? I mean, I don't know as far as the level. I know that he said check the, the valve springs. You can see them from the top, right? Mm -hmm. we, just have to, we can disconnect the battery here and just hand crank it and make sure they're all coming up and down the way they're supposed to. You believe the timing is right, though? Mm-hmm. But the timing would... Well, the time in groups, so is it not to build a compression? If it's that might be it, too, though. Because you did turn it another one. So if it was on a uh, like a deep down stroke, or you know what I'm saying? One, said one is a compression stroke and one is a. Uh, yeah, I'm not, when, like, when you're changing the can and stuff like you did, right? What you do is you set your, you set your, your number one pin to this Okay? And everything lines up from there. So if that's done, then the rest of the, everything else is gonna close up on the compression stroke and it's gonna open up. You know, it's also gonna work correctly when they're supposed to. Mm -hmm. it, that, that, it's just the whole thing of, you know, don't do one top to the center and everything else lines up from there. But what it's saying in the video, everyone. Every it's one every two? every two rotations a full cycle. Okay. So one, so rota one rotation is, is it could be off 180 degrees. That's how you say you would be off because if you got it on an opposite stroke, I, I don't know if I'm using the right words, but combustion is the word to use, right? Mm -hmm. Combustion stroke. Mm -hmm. So if it's not on a combustion stroke, that means that it wouldn't be a combustion there, right? Mm -hmm. Number one is not on the compression stroke. Let's say it's on the um, exhaust stroke, and that's going to throw everything else off. Yes. That's what I'm thinking happened. Because you didn't, have, you didn't do the combustion test before uh, you switched the timing. Mm -hmm. You're right, didn't. So I might have to so take that know. back off. Might have to reset the timing again. Because that could be off just one. Because that's I, I, from what I understand, the combustion stroke is. I'm assuming. If we losing combustion and we wasn't losing it before, it's got to do something with the timing. That would make sense. That's the only reason that's like moving from this way to this way to this way. Mm -hmm. Unless it was the blown head gasket, which could possibly be ability, but it only ran maybe two weeks.
because when I when I reset it, I made sure that cylinder one was top dead top dead center because the because you know it's got the two rocker arms. Rocker arm number two was up, so I spun it until that one was going down, and rocker arm one was coming up. And then I looked at it, it was top dead center. I think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is. called the rocker arm, right? Mm -hmm. Rocker arms tightened up. I need help on this one, y'all. Got my boy KG behind the camera though. So I'm trying to tell y'all, man, like, hey man, can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen, you hear me? Can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen. Hopefully y'all can hear me over the AC, man, but outside of that though, man, subscribe to the channel. Invite me, man, my second YouTube channel, you feel me? I'm over here waiting on y'all to get there. Tap in. I actually got two YouTube channels, so there's two different QR codes on each side of the truck. Just check them out. Yep, I do daily vlogs almost every day. Oh, did you take a picture or scan it? I took a picture of it. Oh, you had to scan if you take the picture? Yeah. Oh, okay. It reached. KG, go hard. That's me, bro. I appreciate you, man. Right, no yep.